broadcast live. You ready? Huh? Cool. I just want to have a conversation, man. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, I'm just speaking. That's it, you know? Um, you ready? All right, cool. Well, you know, we got to start with the intro. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? Bless up, bro. I'll cheer, I'll cheer with the Nati. Um, congratulations on the album, man. Thank uh, you, bro. Like, you know, I, it came out and like there's a group I'm in and someone's like, oh, you gotta, I gotta listen to Anati album. Younger actually said it in the message, you know. Bless. And uh, Shout I, out had, to younger. I had the I had the album ready, but I just hadn't gotten a chance to listen to it. And uh, geez, and when I listened to it, I said, it's not what I expected to hear. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why the? I mean, I think it was it was coming, but like. Um, the whole project, though, you know, um, is uh, is I don't know what did you call what, what did you call what did you call what you did. I just call it world music. Yeah. Because I feel like it just puts a stamp on like what we can do sonically, you know, as South Africans. So I call it world music. Yeah. You know, so whether it's like a slightly like hip hop inspired song or more Afro or Bakanga or you know, it's just world music. It's for the world. I felt like that uh, the the thinking was this is what we can create. I felt like you that that was your approach. This is what yeah. we can create. This is um, um this is what we do. Yeah, it was just like this is what we do. Like this is this is my vibe. This is like if you want to know about me, then listen to it. Yes, it's gonna tell you about like how I you know feel sonically. Yeah. yeah. How long did it take to work on the project? Not long. Really. It's the quickest, it's the quickest project I've ever worked on. Shit, doesn't sound like Like that. the quickest. The quickest, like I worked under pressure. I remember when, when we went to New York, I was supposed to like mix these songs, but I had, I had titles, but I never had songs. Yeah, yeah. You know, so when I got back home, we just made more songs to the titles and then. I see these titles of songs that are not even on the album here. Yeah, that's for the deluxe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, Don't okay. Don't show them. Don't show them. <laughs> okay. I uh, cool, you But really. you can see, but, but I mean, it was long. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I think we short of two songs. No One, more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, nine, three. Yeah, for the deluxe. All right, all right, all right. So you're already planning deluxe already? Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Once we, once we go platinum, then we drop the deluxe. But like, how you know, for me, that that's the thing, though. You know, you are. I mean, you 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 completely. I've never gotten to grasp what is your sound. Is that like a thing that? Are you conscious of that? Is that is that how you want to be presented? You don't want to be boxed. I mean, I definitely don't want to be boxed by genre. Mm. You know, that's something I, I definitely don't want to do, especially just because when it comes to music creation, like I can create anything I set my mind to, you know? It's not really about only trying to do hip hop, R&B or Afro. It's just about this was like a moment in time, you know, and a feeling, you know, like the music makes you feel a certain way. So this is really just about feeling. Yeah. You know, yeah. I wasn't overthinking. I'm very vulnerable, I'm free, mm. you know, so it's just about me being free and being me. You did know? you, did you um, get any, um, um, like, do you get any, like, live instruments, anybody playing? Like, yeah, every, like, every song has live instruments. All of them, I mean, Surprise on keys, myself on keys, um, Tepo on guitars. Mm. So all the guitars on there, that's Tepo Molloy, he's, mm. he's epic. Mm. You know, um, bass, I'm playing bass on Daweni. Surprise also plays. Um, where do Manu play bass? On the Latin? Play bass on the Latin. But then everything else is like produced by myself. Um, additional stuff by Surprise. I got Big Les for real doing some stuff too. So mm. it's just like in the family. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. That's why it all sounds like super concise and cohesive, you know. It just sounds like one vibe. Yeah, yeah. So when you when you create something like this, you know, um, obviously it's world music. Um, it would be almost like there to go. Okay, you want to go to world. You want to get to world stages. I'm just 
how's been the how's the response how been how people receiving this um and it's overwhelming bro yeah. like you know i never i never really expected it you know yeah. <laughs> cuz it's like i mean for the most part i was nervous you know for you know just to come out with you know a piece of work that it didn't take me very long to do you know we we submitted it like 48 48 hours before the release on the day of the listening session like that's when i finished recording you know we were mastering that morning mm. while we were mastering i'm still recording ngozi and dawen and all sorts of things you know so it was just like a moment that i felt like i'm going to set myself like and put this goal together and put put the music out and we did it I mean, how long is not that long ago? The first song that I worked on was Tone of Earth. Yeah. But I mean, there's, from this list, there's still other songs that never made it to this list. Yeah, yeah. That we worked on in Durban, in LA, mm. Eastern Cape, everywhere. Yeah. Um, I, I have to say, you know, um, if there's anything, this, for me, this is like your best piece of work. Thank you. You know? Um, Bless. And I think that like, when you say that it just came, that's that's the energy, you know. Yeah. If, if there's ever been a time where I've, you could have just let the energy work. Yeah, this was it. I felt like this was God's work, you know. I wasn't thinking about things. I wasn't thinking about, oh, like, how do I, you know, put this verse together? Well, how do I do this? It was just literally me sitting at this little mic over here. Mm. See this one over here? <laughs> yeah, it's me, been getting it. <laughs> yeah, me and this mic over here, and we just we just go. Wow. And it's just vibes, you know? It feels that way. It feels that way. Um, and, like, when I do listen to the album, you know, I mean, besides the fact that, like, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of closer in it, you know, I, I can feel, though, the different cultural things you've taken from so this is not like you know yeah. so it's, it's just okay the only thing that makes it closer is that you speak a lot of closer yeah but it, it's yeah. not it's not like necessarily specifically closer like exact I mean, yes yeah. so the sound the, the yeah. sound is inspired by so much more than just you know closer closer sounds or anything yeah, like yeah. that it's just more of a, a south african sound yeah you I, know and th for me that you know i know you said it's world but i think it's I think it's it's a South African sound, right? Yeah. Um, but I think it's a South African sound that needs to be pitched to the I world. just say, you know, South Af I, I say world because, you know, for Grammys, that's where we need to place it. <laughs> uh, is that the vision? Definitely. Definitely. You know, but that's not the validation. Fair. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, everybody has a, has a benchmark, a goal. Some people want to get in the game, make money. Get cars, get this. What what is what is the what is the big goal for you when you're creating? I think maybe from a music perspective it's just, you know, for for the world to really understand, you know, what sort of sonics we're able to produce. Mm. You know, just as like people from Up in Sons, it's like I feel like we're not the forgotten ones, but we're always the ones that are always exploited. Mm. You know, people take our sounds, people take our styles, people mm. take out everything. People take the sauce and then they, they take it overseas and they do whatever they want with it and yeah. it becomes theirs. You know, so I felt like I just had to own our sound, you know, and this is me owning it. Do you feel that there's um, like the, just that statement, do you feel that or are you convinced that your existence and your purpose is actually to bring is that to put together the sound and create it and put it out and whatever happens is what do you yeah feel it's like, like whatever purpose? happens happens yeah 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 so so how so with that if you feel it's a purpose how important is it for you to stay true to the energy that comes in instead of you being influenced by y your mind you know what i mean well that's the thing it's like i've i've, tr I've really tried to stay off, like far away from things that would influence me or make me sound like something that I don't want to sound like. Mm. Mm. You know, I'm only listening to things that I want to sound like. Mm. I'm only listening to things that are old, that have saturation, that you can hear the vinyl on it, that you can hear the tape recorder or whatever. Mm. You know, like that's the sort of vibe that I'm, I'm searching for and the frequencies because it's like once I tap into those sounds and I just vibe and do whatever like that comes to mind it's different you know mm -hmm. like you wouldn't you wouldn't i mean obviously you could tell like the music is inspired by mbakanga and all sorts of different sounds but you know as somebody who just listens to music 
the chord structures are different. You know, like I, I'm not playing the same sort of chords. Yeah. Like the chords for the intro won't be the same for the, you know, for the chorus and the verse. Like I have different parts, I have sections. Yeah. You know, so in terms of composition and music, it's it's intricate, but it's also simple. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's hard to explain. It's just a different yeah. vibe. So, like, I, it's it's vulnerable. Mm. It's free. Mm. Mm. You know, so that's just what I wanted to do. I saw something a while ago. Um, I saw a song that you did. Shot the video in studio space. I just I think I just started slick on life the time around the time. Um, <laughs> Freedom. Freedom, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know, um, you know, um, your 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 heart has always been talking. Um, your heart has always been talking um, consciousness. Consciousness. Your heart yeah. has always been talking that, you know, from from um, from when you've been starting. I mean, obviously, you came through a lot of may like just for your name to be out. Yeah, you have to you have to produce and kids. do other songs for yeah. other people, but I mean. But whenever you did your stuff, you know, your heart has always been into. Um, um, I want to say liberating. It's it's always been into, um, and I don't want to say message, but it's it's always been driven by purpose, yeah. you know. Um, but I think your sound, you just had to find the purpose with your sound. Yeah. You know, when I when I listened to Freedom at that time. I remember always thinking that what does this sound like and i would always link it to a kanye i'd always link it to you know what i mean and that's why i say when i listen to this it's like it feels like it's where you needed to go because you've always been talking that and i found yeah. that in your words you always found it and you found it with the music right now with, with, with this album specifically i think it was just the fusion of the two like you know getting the words and the melodies and the, the music to come through in this sort of direction, but also for it to sound modern, mm. you know, because a lot mm. of the times it's like you can be inspired by an alternative sound or something that's indigenous or traditional, but then sometimes we could go too left too and then everybody's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. where's our boy though? Like, you know, <laughs> you, 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 you know? did it well. Um, I, I'm, scared to, I'm scared to say that like, um, if this gets the right, the right exposure because the problem with South Africa we're looking for sound you know we have a sound but we're looking for a modern sound of our sound yeah that's that, that's what we lost and that's why people end up doing trap mixing it with a bit of what Nigeria is doing which in Nigeria if you listen I feel that that's like Guaito with guys who sing well, but like, because Guaito never sang, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, it was more I, of like a rap. It, it was it, a rap. Yeah, it was more of a rap. But I think what a lot of the Nigerian stuff is really Guaito with singing, and yeah. they really put a, a melody in it. So it's built from that. Yeah, because you can feel it in the bounce. Too. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and I feel that what you found, you found a, I think you found the, the modern sound. I think yeah, this album is, is, is the modern Thank sound with, with, a, with enough mainstream, like reaching people. Yeah, I don't know if I, I mean, even like in terms of mainstream, I wasn't like, I never tried to make like a mainstream album. album yeah. Like it wasn't single driven, but everybody feels like each song could be a single, you know, which is a beautiful thing. I just felt like each song had to have its own it's like attention to detail its own feeling its own vibe to the point where that it gets identified and it lives as its own thing you know like it could have its own visuals and you know a whole different rollout in terms of just the way we see the music it's not it's not just about singles per se you know like i feel like as a body of work like I, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish in terms of just presenting this like sonic piece of work. <laughs>